free throw technique, 83% career free throw shooter, 84% last year. Great free throw shooters generally have a routine that they stick to. Can you take us through yours? Sure. All right. First of all, I'm thinking it starts on your mind. They shouldn't have fouled me. I'm going to make them pay at the line. Second thing I do is when we walk up to the free throw line, generally there's a nail, okay, on every court, every nice court anyways, there's a nail right there. And we want to stick, if you're a right-handed shooter, you want to stick your right foot right behind that nail, okay? As all good shooters do, everything is aligned up, okay? So we go from your toe to your knee, your elbow, right into your hand, okay, and the guide hand. So you're going to have the, basically the same shooting form. So every, when everything comes up, it's all the same motion and we're following through at the rim. Okay? So my free throw routine is three dribbles. And it's important that whenever you practice your free throw shooting, you do the same routine. Even if you're shooting 100 shots, you do your routine every time for that shot. So it's not good just to come up and practice because then you start shooting jump shots, which is not your normal free throw shooting routine. So it's very important to do the same thing every time. So I step up. My routine is three dribbles, okay? So I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna find this little uh, air hole right here. It's on every ball. Stick my middle finger right on there so that I make sure everything's straight. Okay, so I put that right there, put my guide hand up, and I haven't looked at the basket yet. Okay, so my focus is thinking men mentally that I'm gonna knock this shot down. Once I take a look at the basket, I'm shooting the ball. So you don't see me look at the basket, come down, dribble, look at the basket, look at the ball. So it's all one motion, so. I think one of the things people find challenging, obviously we're at a practice court right now, but you're going full speed, 94 feet. You're in the midst of things. All of a sudden, everything comes to a halt. So, I mean, how do you sort of compose? You said mentally the aspect of that part of the game is so important. How do you slow things down to get yourself ready? Well, I think one thing you can do is when the referee blows the whistle, automatically your mind starts slowing down, okay? You shouldn't have fouled me. I'm going to go up and I'm going to make you pay. But one thing to catch your breath is most referees won't throw you the ball till you're ready. So. If you're the referee, you just call the foul. I might stand around up here, walk around, catch my breath a little bit, okay? They call me to the line, okay? Now I've created about eight to 10 seconds of rest, plus I have 10 seconds once I get to the line. So I'm gonna walk up here, not looking at the rim, toe up, I'm gonna look at the ref, and I'm gonna be ready for the ball. All right, Becky Hammond. WNBA Championship 2005, game three tied up. No time on the clock. All right. Yes! <laughs> it's Nicely the wrong done, person. young lady. Fouled the wrong person. You too can be an 83% <laughs> free throw shooter. Basics. Same routine over and over and over again. Same routine and mentally be there. 